Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeff. <coughs> Excuse me. So a while back I made a video called What Living in Utah is Like. If you haven't seen it, you can click right there or the link is in the description box. And something I thought was funny was the comments on that video were so hot and cold. People were either like, oh my god, this video is so true, oh my god, Kevin. Or they were like, f*** you, you f***ing asshole, if you hate Utah so much, why don't you just f***ing leave? Yeah. Anyway, a lot of people also commented saying that I missed a lot of things, and I agree, there's a lot of things that I didn't touch on. So I thought it only made sense to make a part two. One thing that sucks about Utah is that, like, half the stores are closed on Sunday. Or if they're not closed, then they at least close super early. Like, hey, we should go to RC Willie since it's the weekend to pick up that couch. Nope, they're closed on Sunday. Hey, instead of eating junk food, let's go to this healthier place called Zupa's and get a salad. Nope, they're closed, looks like you gotta go to McDonald's. The funny thing is, even the liquor store is closed on Sunday. Sorry, I know you wanna get drunk, guys, but Sunday is the Lord's Day. Another thing about Utah, um, there are so many, so many white people. Something I have no idea how I managed to leave out in the first video is fry sauce. Yep, you heard me, fry sauce. Now to all you people watching this video who live in Utah, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, fry sauce, what about it? But I swear, anyone outside of Utah is like, fry sauce, do you mean barbecue sauce? Do you mean onion ring sauce? Do you mean ketchup? Do you mean, f no, I mean fry sauce. If I remember correctly, fry sauce is basically just ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. You can go to any restaurant, ask for fry sauce, and bam, there it is. If you don't live in Utah and you come visit, you gotta try it. Oh, also, apparently in Utah, we have the best snow on earth. You did it! Congratulations! Yep, that's right, you heard it. I mean, yeah, the snow here is pretty great, but I mean, there's a lot of snow in a lot of different parts of the world. It's kind of a pretentious claim to make, Utah. I mean, come on, you're, you're like up here, bring it down to here. Oh, Utah is also known for its crazy awesome amusement park, Lagoon. Lagoon can be pretty fun, but I mean, I've heard that people travel from all parts of Utah and even other states to visit Lagoon, but it's not even that cool. Not to mention that like almost everyone that works there is like 12 years old. Can't wait for my summer job down at Lagoon. Also, a lot of you may or may not have heard about how Mormons wear this special underwear, which is true, they really do. I'm not sure why they wear it, I guess they believe that it keeps them safe. Behold, a gift from the Lord. Magic underwear. So whenever you're walking down the street and you look to the side and you see someone bent over, you don't have to worry about seeing their butt crack. You just see their Mormon underwear. It really is magical. One really bad thing about Utah are the drivers. They, uh, how do I put this, um, suck. Now I'm sure that could be said with most states. I mean, bad drivers are everywhere. But all I know is that the ones in Utah are just horrible. Everyone's just super impatient. I swear, no matter what the speed limit is, there will always be someone riding your ass. I swear, even if the speed limit was like 150, there would still be someone right behind you like, why aren't you going five over? Also, a lot of drivers here just tend to make up their own rules. A couple of examples, the other day I was just driving down a road and the person in front of me just stopped to let the person in the intersection come out. It wasn't a stop sign, it wasn't a stoplight, the person in front of me just decided to stop traffic to let that person come out. How thoughtful, you fucking idiot. Another example, I was driving on this one road that was a little wider than usual, and the person behind me just decided to come out and drive next to me like there was two lanes. Even though there wasn't two lanes, you're just gonna create your own lane. Who do you think you are, God? All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already seen the first video, go ahead and watch it for more insight on what Utah is like. I guess I don't really have anything else to say, so until next time, she's sleeping. Bye-bye.